Hey, my name's Lily, if you didn't know that. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure as we all know, we are in lockdown at the moment. Isolation is spread across the world right now because of the bitch coronavirus. I have been thinking about doing a YouTube channel or oh, I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel for a long time and if anything this is just the perfect opportunity to start so hello I really need to get used to talking in front of a camera because like I've done videos before I've actually done YouTube videos before like when I was a lot younger <laughs> roll clip Woo! yeah by the name of like Lily won't shut up I'm supposed to be on a diet. So due to isolation, decided to finally crack on and sort Oh, I forgot I can't swear. I'm actually a makeup artist, trying to do it professionally, currently working at MAC Cosmetics. Cracking job. However, I do actually get, funnily enough, a lot of questions about the sort of looks I do. Um, I love a bit of colour. I love a bit of glitter. But if anything, I want everyone to walk out of isolation looking bomb as when we can all go back to spoons and have a chill one. I'm gonna recreate my fave colourful look to wear when I'm feeling myself. I did also get these in the mail, very cute. So I like to start with my brows. I don't actually do a lot to them at the moment, even though they're a bit thin. When I do fill them out, make them all like sexy and fierce. I like to use this pencil, it's by NYX, uh, the micro. Micro brow pencil in the shade Chocolate. Speaking of which, this is really fun without a mirror. Brushing my brows up, making them look nice and fluffy. Yeah, as I was saying, I like them how they are at the moment. I don't actually tend to put a lot of product through them, but that's why I quite like this product because it's very thin. So you can create like individual hair strokes with it. I'm just gonna start very lightly doing some little, little hair-like strokes all the way through. I get all these girls that are like, I'm growing my brow hairs out all day. They're so fluffy and natural, but I'm leaving them. My brow hairs don't grow. Like I haven't touched my eyebrows for about three years. This is as good as it gets. Someone please recommend me something that's gonna help my brows grow. Why do you suck? I can't do my brows that far I'm sorry. Uh, control freak brow gel, I'm just gonna brush that through. I like to brush them backwards first. No, we're just gonna let them sit for a couple of secs. See, I don't really know how to use these properly and I probably should have done a little bit of research, but I'm just gonna pop. I can really do that. <sighs> a little bit. <sighs> so, we're gonna... Then we're going in with my fave palette in the entire world. Me, myself, and my mama. And we're gonna take shade money. Pop that out top. See, the only thing I think I've done wrong here though, I haven't put a base all over. I'm taking Manchester, the bright yellow, right into the inner corner. See, this is what I mean though, it hasn't got anything to stick to. That's not working. I think that just goes to show everyone has bad days. <laughs> We're gonna take P. Louise, both Rumour 2 and Rumour 3. I started mixing them, don't know why. And start tapping that all over it and get rid of all that green because that's just embarrassing. I promise I'm actually gonna do my makeup. <laughs> Go under the blue. Take a little bit of toilet roll. Boris Johnson, don't sue me. And um, we're just gonna tap over that and make sure it's all flat. And is everyone coping right now? I feel okay. I'm working at Sainsbury's currently to get a bit of money. Two o'clock in the morning. What's everyone else doing to keep themselves busy? I kind of just wanted to get a job because I thought like, oh, it was my life a bit more structured, but I didn't necessarily want to be like within the public. Yeah, wake up at one o'clock in the morning, <laughs> go there, work for four to six hours, how much I fancy, and then I just leave before everyone gets there. Just have my music on. I'm one of those people though, who has to like be busy all the time, otherwise I just get awfully bored and awfully 
Pecci. So we're going in with Manchester from the Manchester. We're just gonna take that and pack it in the inner corner. Always blended my eyeshadow up to my brow because I just find it just looks a bit better rather than like a blocky brow. Like I feel like it all ties in together then. And we're gonna take Shimani. Do it just this time. And sort of buff that into the yellow. And it was all yellow. I'm gonna take a bit of Mardi dark green and we're gonna pop that in the outer corner. I don't know what the f that one is. We're just gonna like, look, like that one's gone really well. What I'm gonna do next is take NYX Glitter Glue, my fave pigment in the entire world, Mermaids by Peaches and Cream. I'm gonna carve out our cut crease, but with the glue. I'm gonna pack the glitter on the brush. That's made it look marginally better, but you know. Then I'm going to take, and hopefully this is gonna get rid of blending, Maybelline um, gel black liner I'll do I like to map out the line first drag it down the one side the chances that I can still call myself a makeup artist after this video very slim okay we're just gonna do the other eye lashes will make it better okay it's as good as it's getting the thing is as much as I love makeup it's so unpredictable. I did this look literally the other day for a TikTok. BTW, if you're gonna follow me on TikTok, it's just Lil's Barclay. Did it within like 30 minutes. It's currently taking me 30 minutes just to do my eyes. Lashes. Um, these are by a little in, like, independent store called TBE store. Oh, well-deserved chocolate break. That was stressful. She cute though. A bit of strobe cream from MAC. The low E. It's so nice that we can get to know each other like this. You've seen me have a meltdown. <laughs> You've already seen me at my worst and it's in my first video. A little bit of um, MAC Studio Fix in NC20. She says, ugh, ugh. First time I've ever done that. And it's on camera. <laughs> Gonna take a bit of Maybelline. Oh, it is Maybelline Super So. 24 hour full coverage. Are you <laughs> serious? Someone has something against me today. Oh, we're just gonna start patting that in. Oh, me low about the way. <laughs> Get it all up in there. Not blended down. Fave Morphe brush. It's really good for like round the brows. Right down so we have no light. <laughs> I've just started using these. 16 hour camo concealer. Light beige is a little bit more yellow. I take light sand and just pop that. Two little dots just to proper brighten that up. Also, <laughs> gonna take the Fit Me um, concealer by Maybelline in shade 10 because I've got a little monstrosity down here. Um, and I'm just gonna start patting that. And bring it up, pat that over my little demon in. Does anyone else get the runniest nose when you're like blending around your nose? I feel like I just snot all over my brush. <laughs> take my big brush again and just make sure everything is buffed in. Okay, cute, blended out. Now we look very one dimensional. I like to do my bronzer, blush, highlight, or before my powder, just so everything sticks to my base and looks nice and flawless. So we're taking the angle brush. Um, we're taking dark tan, mineralize. Oh, does anyone else get like loads of like dribble in their mouth and then they can't get their words out because they're like drowning in their dribble? I'm so disgusting. Well, okay. Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan. This is my fave bronzer. I'm just gonna start buffing that into our cheekbones. I feel like with this look, you need a nice chiseled look. We're really gonna focus that on our cheekbones. Could anyone else like sit and do their bronzer without even looking at a mirror? Because I could. I think bronze is my favourite part because it's so chill. A little bit on 
the forehead. Under the nose. Only roughly contour when I. Dull Beauty, Hall of Fame. Highlighting palette, you can see. It's been loved. And I'm gonna actually take, I can't believe they're called Champagne Supernova. That's so cute. Okay. Champagne and Supernova, and we're just gonna pop that on our cheekbones. I like to bring it all the way up onto my um like temple. Temple? Temple. Temple. Onto my apple. Apple of my cheek. Just so that when I'm in front facing you can also sort of see the glow. And um, my favourite blush in the entire world, uh, MAC again, Gingerly Powder Blush. This is the perfect colour to go with green, I find, um, because it's not too pink, but then I actually really like a pink and green combo. Slap that on, I think, because I love a bit of blush. So we're just going to blend it in with the highlight and the bronzer. We love a sun kiss look. Put that into your nose. Just take it basically everywhere and I put highlight. Just to really like, you know, bring the face together. It's come together. It's so weird. Fenty Beauty uh, loose powder in uh, butter. Best powder in the game. It's so flawless. I'm gonna make sure. We got no creases. Yes. Just do that underneath. Round the legs. I literally use the minimum amount of powder I can. Just because it's, it's actually quite damaging to your under eye, you know. Alright, powder's going to help with those fine lines and wrinkles that we really want. It's going to dry up those under eyes, those sensitive, thin layers of skin under your eyes. So. The last thing you want to do is pack more powder on them and dry them out. So if you want to get a really creasy forehead, because I have the creasiest forehead and need Botox at the age of 21. Well, almost. That's a point. Is anyone else spending their birthday in isolation? I know there's bigger issues going on in the world. People deal with a lot harder stuff. But who really wants to spend their 21st birthday in isolation? Just pop a little bit of black liner in the waterline. Get that key line. Sheep. Sheep. Key line sheep. Bit of mascara, anyone will do. I actually really hate this one, but the one I like, I can't find. It's not really matter, I suppose, when you've got lashes on. My favourite lip combo, nude lip at the moment, is um, Spice Lip Pencil from MAC. I swear MAC aren't sponsoring me. They just hire me. <laughs> I'm running very low. Um, we're just gonna... Mannequin by Jeffree Star. A little bit of a nude. Just in the centre. And then a bit of gloss because my lips are crusty dusty. And we did it! After all that pain and suffering, I think we got there. Always remember to highlight your collarbone if it's on show. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please feel free to subscribe and like and leave some comments of what you want to see next. As I say, I kind of want to make this a thing now, um, just because 
I've been wanting to do it for a while and I feel like it's a bit of fun in it and makes me want to try makeup a bit more and I've done my job. Thank you for watching. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's just Lily Barkway and I will catch you in the next one. Oh, that was like Powerpuff Girls, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, bye.